Hey everyone, my name's Simon, and in this episode of the Maserati Guy, we're going to be taking a look at the amazing V12 engine in this CL65. So what really sets uh, this CL65 apart from the other models in the range is this amazing 6-litre V12 bi-turbo engine. Uh, it develops 604 brake horsepower and an extraordinary 1,000 newton meters of torque, which equates to approximately 738 pound-feet. So it's got some ridiculous performance figures. So I thought we could take a look under the hood bonnet if you're in the UK and Australia um, and just have a look around this engine bay and just see what we can see, see what we can learn about this engine. This is an extract from a little promotional video I found online for the M275 engine. Looks to have been originally created by Mercedes as a marketing video, um, but it's quite interesting if a little bit dated. Hope you enjoy it. As you can see, it doesn't leave much room for anything else in this engine bay. This V12 is a large beast. It takes up most of the space here. It's got this very nice carbon fibre engine cover and another um, AMG badged engine cover here. You can see as with all the AMG engines it has the signature of the of the builder. In this case it's a gentleman by the name of Volker Hark. Initially there's not a lot to see. Um, you can see the air intakes here on each side. But let's take off the engine cover and see what else we can see. And in truth, it doesn't show us a huge amount more. Um, we can see the air filter boxes here and here. And I'm assuming that the turbos are in these boxes. You can see the pipe coming up from the exhaust manifold each side here. And I'm assuming this is the turbochargers this side. That would make sense because this is the intercooler. Um, so it's probably got an air to water intercooler. Because obviously you want to keep the inlet air as cold as possible and as dense as possible. Um, as soon as the, air, the intake air starts getting hot, um, its density goes down and therefore um, the, the amount of the actual volume of air molecules that can, or oxygen molecules that can react or combust with the fuel is reduced per unit volume. So you want to keep that air nice and cool. Um, it's obviously going to get very hot um, as it passes through the turbochargers. Um, so looking at it, I'm just guessing here that the air goes in through the filter box into the turbo and then out this side and through into the inlet manifold in the center here. I'm guessing that's how they work. 
So we do get to see a little bit more of the uh, the engine here. That will be for the intercooler system, which is probably a closed system. This is your filler cap for the regular engine cooling system. Um, this is the top of the um, rocker cover on the left hand, and this is the rocker cover on the right hand. Um, very difficult to see anything <laughs> particularly interesting here, other than the sheer scale of the engine is immense and very impressive. You can see your serpentine belt down there just. If we look in the front here, we can see there are a number of radiators. Look at the size of that bug. My God. <laughs> that is ridiculous. What the heck is that thing? Is it even from this planet? My God, that's gross. <laughs> oh dear. Australia. Australia. Anyway, you can see your ABC controllers here. You've got your top of your struts here, which are the ABC struts. So that will be your controller for the ABC or your sensor for the ABC, I should say. Over this side, you've got your ABC um, reservoir filler cap there and your dipstick. So really not a huge amount to see, um, unfortunately. The engine's so crammed into that engine bay that it's difficult to see very much. One little interesting thing here is that the, the underside of the engine cover here is also signed <laughs> by D. Show or something, D. Schoewald, dated 4th of February 2008. It's quite interesting to see that signed. Um, yeah, not by the same name as the engine builder, so interesting. Anyway, you can see the carbon fibre weave very nicely exposed there. A couple of clips missing. Those metal clips on here should be on here as well. Not a big deal, get those replaced. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour around the engine bay of the CL65. The M275 engine, which is this one, is an absolute legend. Um, again, like the V8 uh, in the C63, it's the kind of engine that we're never going to see again. Um, em emission regulations, um, efficiency uh, diktats uh, in terms of um, reducing carbon dioxide emissions. Um, are going to mean that we never see engines like this going forward. So um, my, my view is enjoy it while you can. Um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like. It would be great to have you as a subscriber and to hit that notification bell so you never miss another Maserati Guy video. You can also um, visit my Patreon page, which is at patreon.com forward slash Maserati Guy, where you can um, make uh, a small donation to the upkeep of this of this site that would be much appreciated you can follow me on instagram and twitter at maserati guy 2017 i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye for now